Hey, what is up everybody? It's Raider Bonded here with another video. And uh for those of you that don't know, which I don't think any of you would, um unless you guys know me in real life, um I'm actually pursuing the Cisco certification exams. Um I'm starting off with a CC uh ENT and uh maybe about two, three weeks later I'm gonna go ahead and attempt the CCNA. Uh, I'm going to be graduating from college in about a month from right now, and I want to have at least a CCNA uh, certification added on my resume, considering that I actually want to go into networking as um, uh, as what I want to pursue, and that's what I want to specialize in uh, when I enter the market. So, I figured uh, to help myself and also help you guys as an audience to go ahead and uh, give you guys some basic tutorials on how uh, uh, switching and routing works so I'm not going to go super into detail um, CBT Nuggets has a really good uh, uh, really good tutorials by Jeremy uh, as well as Chris Bryant Advantage uh, which I've used as well uh, as well as um, the uh, Todd Lamley's um, study guide for the CCNA is excellent and I mean all of those books uh, that book and those training courses are really good I would recommend uh, to do it in this order to try um, uh, to do the CBT nuggets first uh, it, right now they're about ninety nine dollars a month and I think that's really good and so ninety nine dollars you know um, you could probably go through all of Jeremy's videos in about two weeks if you uh, dedicate about a video a day so do that for two weeks um, during that time order the book the Tom Lanley book every time you go through uh, a, a, uh, a section with Jeremy go ahead and read the chapter on it and reinforce that knowledge um, then I would recommend doing the Chris Bryan Advantage that's forty four dollars as well uh, I'm not as well it's forty four dollars for the entire uh, package and it's a study guide and it's a whole bunch of videos on udemy.com and he goes more into uh, detail about certain things uh, it's a good he's a good instructor is just more fast paced it's a boot camp is just kind of a more of a refresher to be honest with you so that's what I use him for um, so uh, right now as you can see I have a, a program called putty uh, you can download it for free and that's how I'm going to access my uh, my switch so um, let me show you how to uh, get to that first. Um, what I want to show you though here, uh, I'm connected to a um, a Cisco uh, switch. Uh, the one that I recommend for, for routing uh, is the Cisco uh, 2950 switch. So let me go ahead and pull out a, a video, uh, not a video, um, this one, a picture of one images and they look something like this like that uh, it's a 2950 it's a it's like 25 maybe 30 dollars on Amazon uh, I'm sorry on, uh, on eBay uh, be sure that you buy from a good company that doesn't charge you a lot of shipping um, I have a rollover cable uh, running from the back of uh, uh, console uh, running from the back of my switch from the console port to a uh, adapter on my, com my computer with a serial port and uh, that's that communication the COM port that you see uh, I'm connecting to. Uh, what do I mean by the rollover cable? Uh, rollover cable let me look that up for you it's a cable that looks something like uh, uh, let's see if I can find a good image here um, yeah, it looks something like this, and uh, this RJ45 connector goes to the back of the console port in the back of my switch, and this goes to uh, my computer. Uh, but since my computer doesn't have um, a serial port on it, I had to buy a USB to serial port adapter, and uh, yeah, that's it. So now that I got that out of the way, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to find out what uh, COM port that you're using here. Uh, let me bring up putty here. Uh, so 
go to your uh, libraries, right click on my computer and go to properties. Then you go to device manager and uh, here under the ports you'll have your COM port. So USB to serial it's COM port 7 for me. So that's what I'm going to connect to. So I'm going to bring up PuTTY it's a serial interface and it's COM port 7. So that's all I need to do in order to uh, to get in. And then should uh, there you go. So let me go ahead and log in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a um, free terminal. Do, do a run a write erase command do yes or reload uh, save no alright so here I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, the startup there ignore what I just did but pretty much all I did there was just kind of uh, delete everything I have on the uh, the switch at this point alright so here's a boot up it starts up the bootloader. As you can see, it's a uh, a Cisco uh, 2950 router uh, with a, a version 12.1. Has a MAC address. Right now, it's uh, going to the flash and it's opening up the image I have, which is the um, 16K image. Uh, has some stuff here that it's telling you about Cisco and. Now that all the the post is passed, it should go to initialize, and uh, we should be good to go pretty soon. Okay, so once the router, I'm sorry, the switch is completely up and going, uh, you're going to be asked um, here whether you want uh, ignore this here. This is uh, some more stuff that came up afterwards. That'll we'll take care of that at a later time. But it asks, would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? Um, because I'm doing the CCNT, uh, pretty much every Cisco exam, uh, you're not going to be asked to go through this initial configuration. Uh, the short answer as to why is because it's going to ask you sometimes for some things that uh, are basic, and you want to go more into uh, into depth about what are the things that you want configured and what you don't want configured. So I'm just going to type uh, N, or you can just type N or No. So return to get started click enter and uh, there now we are uh, on our switch so here we go so I have this little notepad here and it's gonna show us our order that we're gonna go in that I think is a good order uh, first we want to set up security for privilege mode for the console port and for the V2I ports so if you don't know what that is I highly recommend that you um, that you read that you read up on it uh, check out CBT Nuggets. I'm just kind of here to go through it um, relatively quickly and if you need something quick. So, alright, so first we gotta, right now we're on user mode. You can tell because of that uh, uh, greater than sign. We want to go into enable mode. You can either type EN uh, or type enable. Uh, another thing you can do is you can try um, uh, 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 you can type enable and then uh, click on tab so if you type ENA and then tab it completes a command for you okay so first things first is we need a password so we want to enable um, a secret ah. but before we do that we want to go to go global config mode and the way you do that is by typing configure terminal click enter and you know you're in global config when you have uh, this there it has that config and from here then you want to go ahead and click on um, not click um, type in enable um, secret and then here is the password Cisco so crappiest password but if you're in a home lab it's it's good so you don't forget it so now there you go you got your enable secret password you can also type in um, the enable password however it's not encrypted so I'd rather just skip it and not use it however on older routers uh, you have to 
but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go over uh, what to do in those cases in a little bit. Uh, all right, so uh, now we want to secure the console port. So we want to go to line console and console zero because it's the only one we have. Uh, and here we want to go ahead and, s and set a password. So password uh, Cisco and then login. Okay, so that way it asks for a login every time we go into the console port. Okay, uh, we also want to go ahead now that we're here is to uh, logging synchronous. And what this does is if a command, uh, sometimes we get things messages like this, and sometimes we're in the middle of a sentence and it kind of separates what we're typing. Uh, this kind of um, negates that and it allows us to. Uh, it pretty much puts a message there and it copy pastes what you've typed into the next line so it doesn't bother you so I like doing that and then I'm gonna do an exec uh, timeout command for 30 minutes and 0 seconds I think that's pretty fair so at that point you can go ahead and escape that and you see what it just did there it kicked me to the next line without interrupting me so um, I'm do a configure terminal so there we go we got the con console port set up uh, so now we want the line the VTY ports I want to set up uh, ports 1 through 4 I think it's 0 um, not 1 through 4 0 through 4 uh, I believe it's 0 through 15 I really just need one but I'm just gonna do uh, 0 through 4 and here it's same thing password uh, I'm gonna go ahead and type Cisco and um, log login uh, logging synchronous uh, logging synchronous oh the way I did that is by clicking the up and down arrows it shows you all of the um, the stuff that you've done in the past so there is the exec timeout go ahead and click that and that's fine so exit and that'll take you back to the um, to the last mode you were in so there we go we got our security done uh, the last thing that I want to do uh, but first I want to show you uh, the show um, uh, running config and this is what shows you uh, what your RAM or right now what we're writing to is a RAM so our configuration is only saved on the RAM so here it is our enable secret password here is coded by uh, is encrypted by MD5 and that is our password it's encrypted so that's good however if we go further down and we go into the um, uh, line console we see that password is Cisco and password is Cisco for the VTY lines and that's a bad thing we don't want that to be uh, out there like that so uh, what we're going to do is go back to the global config mode and then we want to go to services or service password uh, encryption and then hit that and go back again and show running config and then if we go ahead and show that part again now we have it encrypted. However, I wouldn't take too much comfort in this kind of encryption because it's not very good. Uh, this stuff, uh, this kind of encryption prevents people from looking above your shoulder uh, or somebody that's not too experienced uh, to see this and be like, well, that's a fake password, so or I can't figure out that encrypted password, so whatever. But you could actually go online and figure out how to unencrypt this password very easily. If somebody gets a hold of your configuration, that could be very bad. All right, so um, all right, so let's go ahead and save our progress. Here under the uh, switch, you can do two things. You can hit right, or you can do copy running to startup config. And that's the way Cisco recommends you do it. That's the proper way to do it. Uh, destination file name, keep it the same. So just click enter. It's going to build the configuration, and that's it. So now, if you show the um, startup config, it's exactly the same. And when you restart your switch, uh, it'll boot up to this. So previously, if we were to have re uh, rebooted our switch it would have gone back to exactly the way it was before uh, so next uh, next on the list is to do our banner and our host name those are both very easy if we go back to the configure terminal mode uh, the global config mode we can go ahead and uh, type banner 
and then MOTD, which is message of the day, and then type any character. Uh, I like to type the the, um, um, the bracket like that. Uh, click enter, and then uh, I put a little bit of space, uh, some stars. Um, it says uh, unauthorized access is prohibited. Uh, go ahead and add the stars. You don't want to make this extremely large, just something uh, very simple because if not, it can um, greatly impact uh, your switch performance. So, and you notice at the end, I just put that same delimiting character and that ended it, ended the uh, the switch, uh, the uh, banner. So, you won't see that. You will only see this without that uh, bracket at the end when you log in initially. Um, so now the host name, um, I want to call this switch1, so sw1, and you see that the host name has changed. Uh, Alright, so that's, that's good. Let me go ahead and save our progress here, copy, copy run, start, okay, configure your terminal. Okay, back into global config mode. Next thing we need to do is to um, get the VLAN up and going. So we want to set an IP address to the VLAN. Um, uh, right now it's actually shut down. So if I were to go ahead and show you the interface, show you the interface, uh, show IP interface brief. Uh, the VLAN is administratively down, which means that we have to power it on. If it's down, it just means that the line is down and it's logically down. Administratively means that we've actually it's actually turned off, and we have to turn it on uh, by manually doing so. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and go to um, uh, configure terminal, and then go ahead and set up the um, the interface. So what we do is we type interface VLAN one, okay. So there we're in config interface. Uh, what we want to do is type IP address, and we want to set this up as 10.10.1. We're going to go ahead and set this up as dot one. Uh, if we type the question mark, it'll show you what's next in the command and we need an IP subnet mask so for this case we're going to do a simple um, uh, slash 24 which is 255.255.255.0 uh, go and do that and that's that uh, the next thing is to set up a default gateway uh, or, I'm sorry I have to go back to that section here uh, to the interface VLAN because I forgot to turn it on and the way you turn it on is by typing no shutdown and what that does you're gonna see a, uh, a prompt come up pretty soon right there that VLAN 1 is the state has changed to up so that's good uh, so now this here if we uh, do a show running config uh, a show IP interface VLAN oh, mm, interface brief I'm sorry um, it's now now up and it's down at this point because I don't have any of the fast Ethernet ports on the um, on the actual VLAN. So we're not uh, done yet. So next we have to set up the default gateway, um, and the way we do that is uh, we configure terminal and we go to um, uh, default. Mm, IP default gateway sorry about that I was messing up at that point IP default gateway and we go ahead and type the gateway and um, uh, I have a small network diagram uh, but pretty much the default gateway is the router that's gonna take you out of this network and that IP address I have planned to be 10.10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. uh, so at this point I have one I'm sorry, dot one dot ten has to be on the same network. So because we're on a uh, slash twenty four, these first 
three octets have to be the same. So 10.10.1, the same as 10.10.1, but the IP address of this gateway is going to be uh, .10 as a host. So that's good. And at this point, uh, we can go ahead and copy the starting config to the running config. Oh, I'm sorry, no. The running config to the startup config. You never want to get those messed up because uh, then you'll be working backwards. All right, so now we have all these um, uh, show, let's go and show IP interface brief. This is a really good command to remember, by the way. Um, we have all these fast Ethernet ports um, that we need to assign a VLAN to. So you can do that one by one, and I'll show you how to do both. Configure terminal. So that's our last thing. We got to do our interface setup. Um, so we have an interface, fast Ethernet. So let's say we wanted to set up 0-1. Uh, so well, let me just go ahead and do 0-9 because I know that there's a I have a computer that's connected to it. But first, I need a I actually reminded myself I have to activate the uh, the port on that and I have to man manually set it up so uh, if you can bear with me here 10 at this point if you want to connect it to your computer you can and you can set the um, uh, the network uh, IP address yourself so it's going to be 10.10.1.50 for this one and the default gateway is going to be 10.10.1.10 I think I said so 10.1.10 and then click OK yep OK so that should be good enough to, to find it in there alright so that changed to the line protocol of Ethernet 09 changed to up and the line protocol of VLAN changed to up. So there we go. So just by doing that, um, uh, just turning it on, I have the show IP interface brief. So now uh, I have the uh, my host computer here. Is uh, the status of it is up, and the line interface, uh, the the line protocol is up as well. So that means that's going, and that turned on uh, the line protocol for the VLAN as well. So that means that the VLAN is actually being used. Uh, so now, what if I uh, want to do it for all of the ports here? So that's really easy. It's um, just one more thing you have to remember. It's um, uh, interface fast Ethernet. Uh, sorry, interface range uh, fast Ethernet. 0 slash 1 through 24 so you gotta make sure to put range and then fast ethernet 0 slash 1 through space you gotta put spaces through space 24 so when you do that you have that and then uh, because this is a switch all of the uh, the ports are down but they're not administratively down you don't actually have to add them into anything so at this point um, they're actually ready to go. Uh, there's more things that you can do in here as far as the uh, security goes. Uh, you can set up uh, the duplex, uh, you can set up the um, uh, spanning tree protocol, the speed of each of them, uh, but that's not important at this point. I think this is um, uh, more than enough. Uh, you can also do a switch port here. Let me just uh, switch port. Ooh. That was a mistake. Switch port, access. Set the access mode with characteristics of the interface. Uh, you can set up port security, things like that. But uh, like I said, I'm not going to go over those things in this video. For now, uh, this is actually all I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy the running config to the startup config. And that should be the end of the configuration. So at this point, we got our entire switch set up in about 25 minutes, really 20 minutes, um, considering that the beginning was just kind of a uh, uh, explanation of, of what I was going to do and uh, 
what equipment I was using and how I managed to connect to my COM ports, things like that. So yeah, so these six easy steps uh, I think are, are are pretty good, pretty essential for um, uh, for getting you uh, to have your switch up and going. So now you have your little network and the next thing that we're going to move into is our default gateway, uh, which is going to be our first router. And for that I'm going to be using a um, a 1721 Cisco router and um, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you found it helpful be sure to leave a like uh, it really helps me out it uh, give me some feedback in the comments section if you have any questions feel free to um, to leave them uh, and again I know this was really fast and it was just something you know for those of you that need a quick setup or if you guys are interested in this uh, networking is a really 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 awesome uh, topic uh, when you're talking about IT. I find it really fun and I hope you guys uh, have found some kind of appreciation in this. So, Alright guys, so I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you all next time.